Hello guys, welcome to my video. In here, we will learn together how to measure currents and voltage on a circuit using a software and a direct measurement. Let us look at the video. The first measurement with the software goes to the Proteus and then open the software after on the first page click new project then press next five times and then press finish once embed on a practical page press P then insert resource keyword then resistance k put resource on the measuring board and change the voltage to 9 volt And then divide the resistor with the first and second resistor interacts in a series while. And then the third resistor and second resistor runs parallel. And then click instrument on the left. Pick up DC ammeter and place it in each side of the resistor to measure the currents Place the DC ammeter as on video, then connect the cable, change the road block with 1000 ohm resistor on the resistor 1 and then 3000 and 300 ohm on the second resistor and then 4000 4700 ohm on the third resistor and change the amps to a milli, milli ampere. Then go back to the instrument and select a DC voltmeter. Let it over the resistor and the, and then connect it using the wire. When all is connected, press play with 
is in the in the lower left hand corner after that comes value Direct measurement. The first, prepare such necessary tools and material, as the resistor, avometer, wear mail to mail, and then hook up the avometer like this. Adjust the avometer to the scale to which it will be used. Then pair resistance to the project board. Make sure the resistor are properly held because those that are not properly held will allow a circuit to become an open circuit or a difference in value with proper value. Ensure the resistance has been in on the project. Adjust the resistor to a set made with the Proteus to make possible the conversion of or difference in value on exiting measurement. On the central project port of holes connect together is vertical while on the side connect is the horizontal. After the resistor are held parallel as well as series, use the wire mail to mail to connect the current host to voltage source. We use battery on the battery this time. One is used at the beginning of the resistor and then connected to a high value voltage source and wired a other mail to a voltage source of value negative. Then a detail battery has been wired to project on the polar positive and negative. Make sure the wire used goes in the project board perfectly because if it does not go in the series of currents won't work. Get the alphometer. Get the alphometer. Then measure down on any resistor. Make sure the scale used is the correct again. This is on human error that could have happen have happened and caused the measurement that have been delayed.
Therefore, it is wise to take a measure of software first and if you are sure you can do so, it is okay to do it directly. Make sure that measurements are done in the right way because they will be measuring results. Conclusion There are differences in the direct measurement and software, but those differences do not matter while within acceptable limits. On software measurement or indirect that each component is in ideal circuitment while on component used in the direct measurement. Each component is not in ideal circumstance. Each component has a tolerance limit and is su success susceptible to things that are wrong. The use of software is also easier to use because small amount of money are spent on direct measurement and defects and defects on the direct ones can make tool and material that cost more money to be spent. Therefore, for surveying, it is best to use software first and if you are sure, can then Okay guys, get your first meeting with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment because it's free and meaningful to me. Thanks for watching this video and see you soon. Buddies!